you people would have been out in the streets burning down cities like you did uh, the entire summer of 2020, looting stores, destroying businesses, attacking police officers, absolutely uh, attacking federal ha uh, courthouses. You would be fighting us, murdering us in the streets if that had happened. So Marjorie Taylor Greene is taking what happened at the Trump rally uh, really well and with a lot of grace, the way you would expect her to. Definitely not bringing up needlessly the murder of George Floyd by police officers or completely unprompted stating that Democratic voters would be out murdering Republicans in the street and looting stores and destroying property if Joe Biden had been the one shot at. But that didn't happen, did it, Natalie? No, we didn't go out rioting. We didn't go out destroying property. We didn't go out murdering and attacking people like the left has lied about us for all these years. No, we went to prayer. We dropped to our knees and we prayed for our president. We prayed for his family. We prayed for America. Uh, and, and we prayed uh, to our God who we know saved Donald Trump's life. Comparing this alleged assassination attempt of Donald Trump by a registered Republican, by the way, uh, to the police brutality issues in the United States against people of color, specifically the murder, the needless murder of George Floyd, um, is disgusting and heinous. And there was no need. There was no need to bring it up. There was no need to make a comparison because it's not the same. But I suppose Marjorie Taylor Greene has just always been classy like that. And if you know MTG, which if you've seen my videos, you know MTG, you know that she definitely didn't stop there. She definitely didn't stop at just suggesting that Democrats would have been out murdering Republicans in the street if Biden had been shot at. No, no, no. She needed to take the opportunity to attack a reporter because that's her MO. That's, that's her main thing is just abusing and attacking reporters. You know, I have some of the most highest amount of death threats because of people like you, because you choose to only take certain words from people and then that's what you want to report. Shame on you. Shame on you. Because you, no, 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 no. You're the, you're the problem. I'm done with you. Okay. Because you're the cause. You're One the cause thing, you of our the country. No, no, no. You're, you're the, the cause, cause of our country being divided. You're the cause of our country being divided. You're the cause of President Trump almost being assassinated. You're the cause of everything wrong well, in America. Evidence for these claims? No, no, you're done. You're done. Yeah, go okay. back. Thank go you. Back. Okay. This reporter from the Times asked a question about the UK, and Marjorie Taylor Greene accused her of being the reason someone tried to assassinate President Trump. Apparently, this reporter is also the reason that Marjorie Taylor Greene gets regular death threats. She goes on to say, I'm just a regular person, and because of people like you, me and my family have to go through copious amounts of, of, of bullshit. First of all, Marjorie, you're not a regular person. You're a public official. You ran for, well, you cosplay as a public official. You ran for office. You made sure you were not a regular person. But based on the question she received from that reporter, she really had to make a hop, skip, and a jump in order to blame the reporter for everything that's wrong with America, including the recent assassination attempt. Um, but that's because this is her MO. Marjorie Taylor Greene's favorite thing is to abuse and berate reporters. We have Jamie Raskin in there accusing us of worshiping Trump, worshiping as a convicted felon. Well, he is a convicted well, felon. Well, yeah, so is George Floyd. There were riots burning down country over George Floyd. I worship God. And it's our job to defend the Second Amendment. Yeah. Well, I understand that we don't have guns in the UK, that is true, but we don't have mass shootings either. Children aren't scared to go to you school. You have mass stabbings, lady. You have all kinds of murder, <laughs> and you've got like laws same, against nothing that. Nothing like the same rates Well, here. you can go back to your country and, and worry about your no guns. That's very kind. We like yeah. ours here. Huh? I was in Boulder during the Colorado shooting at the supermarket where 10 people were murdered down the street. You know what? I support people to protect themselves with their guns, okay? You know what? Murder is illegal. Murder is illegal. No, you know what? Shouldn't Americans have the right to go to the grocery store? Americans should have the right to protect themselves. Americans should have the right to protect themselves. Gun free zones is where people die. Gun free zones is where people die. People die in the grocery store. Yeah, it was a gun free zone. Oh. So why does Marjorie Taylor Greene consistently paint the media as public enemy number one? By creating distrust in the media, which, to be fair, 
there is a reason to have distrust of the media. But not for the reasons Marjorie Taylor Greene is, is telling you there is. She's creating a divide between you and the reporters, between you and the media, which makes you feel like you exist outside of the system. And if you exist outside the system, you can blame the system. It's very easy to place blame on the system. And you don't have to feel responsible for being a part of the system, for being a cog in the wheel. The system is the leftists. The system is the group of people who rioted after George Floyd's death, creating a really good example of us versus them mentality, which humans very easily fall into. Another really great example of this is when the riots started after the death of George Floyd. And Trump tweeted, when the looting starts, the shooting starts. These Republicans see themselves as outside of the system. They see themselves as victimized by the system and that they need to violently fix the system. Ergo, the events of January 6th. And then people like Marjorie Taylor Greene simultaneously say, well, the Democrats would have been doing way worse had this have happened to their president, and they would have been out looting and murdering Republicans in the streets, and we didn't do that. We bowed our heads in prayer, immediately accusing the other side, them versus us, of doing the thing that historically we have done. Anyway, as per usual, Marjorie Taylor Greene is ridiculous and blaming reporters for the state of America and the cause of an assassination attempt is ridiculous. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to check out some of my content that isn't news related, you can check out my personal YouTube channel at Bad Gamer Wyatt. And until then, I will see you in the next video. Thank you.